Meron tayong uh, battered women's syndrome or battered woman's syndrome at uh, itong uh, BWS na tinatawag tinitake cognizance ng ating mga korte, ng mga family court kung ang biktima ng isang uh, violence, ng physical violence in a marriage ay dati na na nabubugbog o dati nang nagkakaroon ng uh, psychological violence doon sa kanyang domestic life. And uh, normally, if you can prove na repeatedly eh, ikaw ay nakaka-experience ng ganyan, when you testify in court, eh, they will just take notice na dati ka nang uh, may history of being violently attacked, physically violence ang sinasabi ng Korte Suprema and ito yung tinatawag nilang battered woman syndrome and this is provided for by uh, Republic Act 9262 at sinasabi nila this is a form of psychological or physical violence at ito may mga simptomas ng uh, physical violence and there is no need to ask the woman to testify and relate over and over again yung kanyang traumatic experience uh, doon sa kanyang partner or sa kanyang husband. Again, this is the case of People versus Marivik Henosa. Uh, sinabi ng uh, ating Korte Suprema, yung Battered Woman Syndrome, actually, we took this from American law. And uh, sa American law, if you are a battered woman, and uh, in the course of your marriage, eh, napatay mo ang iyong asawa, because of the violence being inflicted on you, then that is an exemption. That is an exempting circumstance sa prosecution mo for homicide. And uh, there are many cases sa Amerika na ina-apply itong battered woman syndrome.